Did you ever want to be a superhero when you were a kid? Or better yet, did you ever imagine that you had superpowers and you could rescue people that were being threatened by the evils and injustices of the world? I'm pretty sure each of us at one point or another has wished we had a superpower that could get us out of some situation. Invisibility when we were embarrassed by something we said. Super speed to outrun a bully or accelerated healing when we were struck with the flu. But as much as we want those abilities, we have to face the truth. We'll never be superheroes. We'll never have supernatural powers that come from an alien planet or a spider bite. But with or without superpowers, there will still be moments in our lives when the odds will be stacked against us. The obstacles seem overwhelming and we'll have to overcome what seems impossible. And in those moments, where can we find the power to do what we need to do? Where can we find courage that we need to face the enemies and evils in this life? We may not heroically defeat an evil nemesis, but there is a sense in which we are all called to do heroic things every day. One of the most difficult things any of us will ever learn to overcome is fear. Of course, it's unrealistic to expect anyone to become completely fearless. Rather, our goal as leaders and parents is to help our children not become paralyzed by those fears and learn what to do in the face of them. That's why we define courage as being brave enough to do what you should do, even when you're afraid. Think about that. Even when you're afraid, you will be afraid. So the question is, when fear is present, where do you find the courage to stand up, push through, keep going? We want our children to understand because they believe and trust in God that they have a unique source of strength and courage. As a matter of fact, we want them to memorize something God told the Israelites as they were about to enter the promised land. In Joshua 1.9, God told them, be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Yes, there will be times when we're going to be afraid, but we can trust in a God that is bigger than us and put our hope in a God who is with us and is in control of every situation. Because of God, we can find the strength to be courageous, everyday heroes. That's also why I like the Bible stories we're talking about this month. These are stories about ordinary people like you and me, men and women, who had no superpower except for the fact that they knew God. They knew God had a mission for them and they trusted in God's promise to always be with them. So we start the month with two guys named Joshua and Caleb. After wandering in the desert, they demonstrated courage when they were sent out as spies with 10 of their fellow Israelites. The land of Canaan was awesome, but it also wouldn't be easy to enter. When everyone else was scared to enter this land that God had promised to the Israelites, Joshua and Caleb found the courage to speak up and remind the people that God would provide a way for them to take the land. They were brave, even when others weren't. Bottom line, you can do what you should, even when others are afraid. In week two, we fast forward to the time of the kings in Israel, namely King David. His story starts when God sent Samuel to Jesse's house to find a new king for Israel. God chose David as the next king because he was a man who would do what God wanted. Then, when the giant Goliath was shaming God's people with his threats and no one would stand up to him, David showed up and he trusted God for the courage to do something about it. God used David to do the impossible and defeat Goliath. Bottom line, you can do what you should, even when things seem impossible. Then in week three, we head to a time when God's people were in captivity. Even in a foreign land that didn't worship God, Daniel was known for faithfully praying to God. And when the leaders tried to trap him and have him killed, Daniel had courage and continued honoring God in spite of what could happen to him. Unfortunately, Daniel was caught and thrown into the lion's den. But God was with Daniel and protected him by shutting the lion's mouths. Bottom line, you can do what you should because God is with you. We finish off our month about courage with Esther. 
She also lived during a time of captivity. Esther had no idea how God would use her when she was chosen to become queen of Persia. But her cousin Mordecai reminded her that God put her in that role to rescue the Jewish people from Haman's plot. Esther knew what could happen if the king didn't approve of her asking for his help, but she also knew how much more was at stake for God's people if she didn't try. She found the courage to go to the king, which ultimately led to saving her people. Bottom line, you can do what you should, even when you don't know what will happen. The truth is this, we all have the potential to take a stand and be everyday heroes because we are part of something that's bigger than any one of us individually. The important thing to point out as you read the scripture this month is that whenever there was a moment that seemed hopeless, God always showed up. God's presence gives us the power and courage to push through and to do what's right. It doesn't mean everything will always go according to plan, but God will be with us as we stand. And that's what we want kids to learn when they walk away this month from your homes and your churches. We can't wait to hear stories of their courage.